Hello friends and welcome to Rays of Hope, light from God's holy and precious word. Friend, there's just not a better place to find hope than in the pages of God's holy word. Let me invite you to pick up your copy of God's word, the precious holy Bible. Turn with me, if you will, over to Psalm number 86. Psalm number 86, and today uh, I want to talk to you about another powerful prayer. We've been looking at the powerful prayers of uh, God's men and women uh, in the Bible, and uh, we've been looking at the Old Testament prayers, and today we see another prayer of David. David was a man after God's own heart. And, uh, friend, we would do well to pattern our prayer life after his. Notice this beautiful prayer for mercy. David begins his prayer by saying, Bow down thine ear, O Lord. Hear me, for I am poor and needy. Preserve my soul, for I am holy. O thou, my God, save thy servant that trusteth in thee. Be merciful unto me, O Lord, for I cry unto thee daily. Rejoice the soul of thy servant, for unto thee, O Lord, do I lift up my soul. For thou, Lord, art good and ready to forgive, and plenteous in mercy unto all them that call upon thee. Give ear, O Lord, unto my prayer, and attend to the voice of my supplications. In the day of my trouble, I will call upon thee, for thou wilt answer me. Among the gods there is none like unto thee, O Lord, neither are there any works like unto thy works. All nations whom thou hast made shall come and worship before thee, O Lord, and shall glorify thy name. For thou art great and doest wondrous things. Thou art God alone. What a powerful ten verses of Scripture. Now, there's a few more verses in this prayer. Let's look at them. Teach me thy way, O Lord, and I will walk in thy truth. Unite my heart to fear thy name. I will praise thee, O Lord my God, with all my heart, and I will glorify thy name forevermore. For great is thy mercy toward me. And thou hast delivered my soul from the lowest hell. O God, the proud are risen against me, and the assemblies of the violent men have sought after my soul and have not set before them. But thou, O Lord, art a God full of compassion and gracious and long-suffering and plenteous in mercy and truth. O oh, turn unto me, and have mercy upon me. Give thy strength unto thy servant, and save the son of thine handmaid. Show me a token for good, that they which hate me may see it and be ashamed, because thou, Lord, hast hoped in me, and comforted me, and comforted me. God is a God who is certainly certainly willing to reach into our life to forgive and he's plenteous in mercy I love what David says here preserve my soul be merciful to me uh, give ear O Lord uh, among the gods small g there's none like to thee and then in verse 10, he says, Thou alone art God. And then he says, Teach me your way, Lord. 
I will praise you, Lord. Great is your mercy. Uh, it has delivered me from the lowest hell. Uh, thou, O Lord, art a God full of compassion, full of graciousness, long-suffering. God is patient and then plenteous in mercy and truth. Friend, that's the kind of God that we serve. A God that is patient with us. A God that has compassion on us. A God who is willing to reach into our life. I tell people constantly that we serve a God who loves us in spite of ourselves. Because so many times our self gets in the way. The greatest thing that you and I could ever do is empty ourselves of self so that we could be more filled with him. David in his prayer said, I am holy. Well, friend, if David was a holy man, the thing that made David a holy man was God himself. And if you and I are to be holy, it's going to be because he lives that holiness in us. Because we ourselves, we can't do it. But when we yield ourselves to God, it's then that God can be all he wants to be in each and every one of us. Let's pray together. Father, we love you so much, and we thank you for this powerful prayer that David prayed. Thank you for being a God of mercy. And Lord, uh, help us also be people of mercy and grace, sharing your goodness, your compassion, uh, your care. Uh, and help us to cast our care on you, for you care for us. God, uh, I pray that uh, you would uh, help us through this time that we're living in. Remind us that you are a God that's much bigger than a plague and a pandemic. And instead of uh, being like Pharaoh, who was so afraid of the plague, help us, Lord, be people who fear not because of our faith, because, God, you're bigger than the plague. Now, Lord, have your way in our lives and help us make a difference in your world by being a prayer warrior for your glory. God, we pray for the healing of our land. And, Lord, we pray for the healing of uh, those who are sick and suffering. We pray for those that's grieved and bereaved, that's lost loved ones. God, we just ask you to lift them up. God, continue, O oh Lord, to help us to be faithful to you. In Jesus' name, amen. My friend, without his help, we'll never be as faithful as we should be. Remember that your life's the only Bible that some may ever read. So let others see and hear Jesus in all you say and in all that you do. God bless you. Have a wonderful, wonderful day.